in this video, we're going to be testing the clinch knot against the strength of the uni knot. These are two very popular knots. They're, they're both easy to tie. They're both known to be very strong. But which one is stronger? That is what this video is going to answer. And so we're going to do it with three different lines. This first one is fluorocarbon. Then we're going to do traditional monofilament. And then finally, we're going to do braid again to see which which knot is stronger for each line because different knots react to different lines in different ways. And so the only way to really test it is to actually uh, you know, tie them on a single strand and, uh, and pull on them until they break. And as you see, we have a scale here. And so we're going to measure the actual breaking strength. All of these lines are rated at 20 pounds. So let's get started. We have the clinch knot on this side, uni knot over here. All right, so we're zeroed out. Let's see what happens. So we're now at six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow, that was uh, I think around fourteen pounds, and the uh, the uni knot. So the uni knot failed at a surprisingly uh, low uh, low rate there. And so both both of these knots had five wraps too. In case you're interested, uh, five wraps each to make it a, a true comparison on the actual knots performance. All right, so round two, I just uh, changed it up. So we have the uni knot over here on the near side, the clinch knot far side. Let's see what happens. Scale is zeroed out. All right, let's go. So now we're at seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Golly, that was just, uh, that was 13 pounds and the, uh, the uni knot failed again. So for fluorocarbon line, it looks like the clinch knot is the winner. All right, so now we're gonna do that same test with the traditional monofilament. Again, this is 20 pound test. Clinch knot, uni knot. Scale zeroed out. Let's start putting under pressure. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow, that was a little over 20 pounds. And looks like the clinch knot won again. Our right, test number two with traditional mono, we switch sides. So uni knot on the near side, clinch knot on the far side. And I shorten it up this time so we should be able to see everything in action. So now we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's a little over 15 pounds there. But once again, the uni knot is what failed. We have the, uh, the clinch knot still in good standing, so that was uh, that is a clear winner. I'd say the clinch knot is better for traditional monofilament as well. All right, so now for braid, we have the clinch knot near side, uni knot far side, scale is zeroed. This is a 20, 20 pound braid, and that was uh, that actually failed before I even got pressure on it. I think that was just like five pounds. It was hardly anything, and the uh, the clinch knot is is what uh, what unraveled. All right, so we'll do that again. We have the clinch knot on this near side, uni knot far side, and uh, both of them have five wraps. So they have the same amount of wraps, and I'll go slower this time in case it is uh, truly is that weak. So five, six, seven. Yeah, that was seven pounds. I was going slowly, and it totally unraveled. The uh, the clinch knot came unraveled. So uh, so definitely for braid, I would say the uni knot uh, is stronger. All right, well, that was the experiment. This is just, the again, the next step in our ultimate quest to find the best possible knot for every type of line connection that we need. Because it's really on us as anglers to, to make sure that we're using the, the optimal knot for every connection that we have to make sure that we don't lose the fish of a lifetime just due to, a, to a, a knot that's not as good as what it could have been. So the lines that we use in this case was the, uh, the, the for fluoro, was this Vanish line, a pretty popular line. and. In this case, the clinch knot uh, proved to be the winner. Then we have a Berkeley Big Game. Uh, that was the traditional mono. Uh, clinch knot won as well. However, it was, it was definitely notable that the, the traditional mono had a much higher breaking strength than the fluorocarbon. And that has been pretty consistent. And that was a surprise to me the first time I saw it. 
and you can see some, uh, I'll put a link down below for some fluoro versus mono tests that have been really, really surprising. And then for the braid, we have a Power Pro. This is traditional Power Pro. And just like most knots that were designed for you know traditional monofilament line, there's usually some adjustments you need to make for braid. And so I'll put a link down below where you can see you know the best knots that we found so far for each of these different line types. And we also analyze line to line knots as well. And again, the, the ultimate quest is to is to be ready for every you know every situation possible. We'll do the test on the knots, uh, as well as tutorials on how to tie each one if you're not yet familiar with how to tie. So to check that out, just go to saltstrong.com forward slash knots, and you'll be able to see the you know all the results that, uh, that I've done so far. You can ask questions, uh, leave comments, leave recommendations for other knots that uh, that we haven't yet tested. Uh, here to help, and again, our quest is to continue testing knots until we've tested every single one and we know exactly you know which knot is best for each line type.